Hey everybody, my name is Chris, I'm back with another fragrance for you. Today, welcome to summer 2019. This is my list. I hope you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. On my channel, I talk about fragrances, fragrance reviews, and free fragrance giveaways once a month to subscribers on my channel. If this sounds cool to you, please consider clicking that subscribe button anytime there's this video. Show your support. I appreciate that. To my loyal subscribers, thanks for watching video after video. I'm trying to put out much as I can, so thank you in advance. Okay, today's my top 10 summer fragrance list. These are fragrances I'm going to wear in the summertime. Most of these fragrances I have reviews for on my channel. First impressions, I'll leave links down below for them. Or you can check out our videos on my channel. So let's get right into the list. Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, what's your scent of the day? Please leave a comment down below. My scent of the day is a fragrance. Well, I can't talk about it because it's my number one. So we'll get into that later on. So let's go. My number 10 is a new fragrance from the line of Gucci. You've seen this video on my channel if you watch my videos. It's no other than Gucci Guilty Cologne EDT. This fragrance here is just, it's nice. It's fresh. It is a clean fragrance. It does have, when it first opens up, you do get like kind of like a kind of like a medicine type of vibe. It's really not the most pleasing of the first initial spray, but after that, it does settle down. You do get some of Junior for Berries in this fragrance here. It does come off very kind of fresh, clean, like scent off of my skin. I really enjoy this uh, wearing any time of year, really, but summertime, it seems like it's just really nice. It's very uh, pleasant. Nobody's going to say nothing bad about it. Very smoothy fragrance. One thing that lacks with this fragrance here, I do only get about a good our projection and um, if you look at the longevity at this point you're looking at maybe about a good four to five hours so it's not the best but I do enjoy it and I will get more use of it and it's no other than my number 10 Gucci Guilty Cologne EDT. My number nine spot here man this fragrance here has been on a lot of my lists I can say you can wear it in the fall winter spring it really doesn't matter it's a fresh, a clean fragrance. It's been in the fragrance game for years after years now. Um, it's a household name. If you don't know about this fragrance, then you will definitely need to check it out. I know it's been reformulated, reformulated after that, but it's a fresh and clean fragrance. My number nine, I enjoy a lot. I picked up overseas is Mugur Cologne. What hasn't been said about this fragrance? It's nice, it's fresh, it's clean. It just, it's a great fragrance to wear in the summertime, really. It's nice, and I have never found anybody to say anything negative about this fragrance. Most time I wear this fragrance, people say, oh, you smell very fresh, feel very soapy-like. No complaints at all. I really like it a lot. I'm happy with it. The performance is okay. You're looking at about a good four to five hours. You get about a good hour projection. I mean, if you want to reapply this, it's fine because the price point's kind of lower now. It's not as expensive. You can find this at discounters for a good price. So definitely check out Mugur Cologne. This is my number nine. So on the list of fragrance I really enjoy wearing a lot. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm happy to have my collection. It's a fragrance now, so time for it if you don't know what it is already, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fresh, a clean, vetiver fragrance. No other than my number eight on the list. No other than Tom Ford, Ray Vetiver, EDT. This one here is just nice. I have no complaints with it. I get about a good seven hours of longevity. It pushes for the first two hours of projection. It's not beast mode, but it's very nice. I have a scent cloud around me. And people around me enjoy this fragrance. I know one time I wanted to work and a, co a co-worker was like, hey, I like that fragrance you're wearing. I want to pick it up. So he gave me the money and I ordered it for him. He really enjoys Tom Ford Gray Vetter for EDT. Now I do have the EDP too, which is nice too. I feel like that's a little bit more feminine off of my skin personally, but I prefer the EDT, but they're both great fragrances. You can't go wrong either one of them and performance is pretty good. I haven't seen anybody say anything negative about performance yet. So definitely check out my number eight, Tom Ford, Ray Vetiver, EDT. My number seven on the list. This fragrance has been in my collection for maybe about a year now so far. I had the original, which came out, which I enjoy a lot. My girlfriend loves it. You should know it by now. It's a Dior fragrance. And this is a flanker to Dior Sauvage. This is Dior Sauvage EDT. This is Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. This one I like it a lot. This one, you can wear this dressed up, dressed down. You wear it in the summer, spring, fall. This could be your signature scent if you want a signature scent worthy fragrance too. Your distribution is nice, it shoots out a lot. And magnetic cap. It's just overall, it's it's a great fragrance. I know people do say it's kind of coin, they're tired of it. But this fragrance sells, people do enjoy it. And I never had any negative, negativity comments with this fragrance here. It's always been positive or asking, what am I wearing? Where can I buy it at? I know I went to Sephora one time with my girlfriend, a lady next to me was like, I want to buy this fragrance for my husband. So she didn't know Dior Sauvage 
Edie Pitt. She only know EDT, but then when I showed it her at Sephora, she wanted this one instead, but the price was kind of high, so she said she's going to wait a little bit. So, hey, a lot of people like this fragrance. Definitely check out your Sauvage Eau de Parfum. My number six on the list, man, this fragrance I enjoyed a lot. Um, it's a fresh and clean fragrance, and it's just something you wear to the office. You can wear it in the summertime. I feel like it's a signature scent worthy fragrance, and I should have bought a bigger bottle when it first came out. I wasn't feeling it at first. I had to wear it a few more times. I got a couple samples at Nordstrom, and I gravitated, and I really fell in love with the fragrance. And it's no other than my number six is Prada Love. I'm almost done with the bottle here. Check this out. I don't have many empty fragrances, but I think I have one or two maybe. So, Prada Love. It's fresh. It's clean. You can call it, you know, one of the best fresh soapy fragrances out now and on the market that's really, really expensive. It smells like a fragrance that just, you know who you are, how you are, and just, you know that when you walk into a room, you have a nice suit on, you know you're fresh, and you're clean, and you're all about business. So definitely check out Prod Alone. Now the projection is good for the first two hours or so. It's not a beast mode, but it's nice. Longevity is for it falls short. I get about a good five to six hours on my skin, which isn't the best, but you can reapply this one. Prices are pretty steep for a Prada one, so definitely check it out. You might be able to get discounters. Definitely check different discount websites or the Facebook group. You should, you should sign up for the Facebook group. They have different discounts on there. People are selling that they don't want or partials. So my number six is Prada one. My number five on the list of fragrance I really enjoy a lot. It took me almost a year to save up to buy it, trying to get it on sale. I, you know, if I couldn't, I would buy it full retail price. It's a Creed fragrance. You guys should know what it is. I love this fragrance a lot. It's in a red bottle. It's no other than Creed Viking. This one here, I enjoy a lot. Has that peppermint, has that freshness about it. It's just, it has a rose in it. Overall, it is a very great, pleasing fragrance. I'm happy with it. I know some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people say it's not, not the best at all from the Creed, Creed lineup. It is what it is. I do enjoy this one. I'm happy to have it in my collection. Creed Viking. I'm going to wear it a lot more and I'm very happy I got it for a good discounted price online. But definitely, ladies and gentlemen, if you like Creed Viking or you like Creed Fragrance, you definitely check this one out. You might be missing out on a good opportunity here for a good, fresh, peppermint, rosy fragrance. So, Creed Viking. My number four fragrance on this. Man, I'm getting down to the wire. Four fragrances left. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this one I picked up last year. I really enjoy this one a lot. My girlfriend likes it and I like it. And she wears it too once in a blue moon, but she enjoys it. I first time I sprayed it, I was at Neiman Marcus and I just fell head over heels for it. I really enjoyed it a lot. It is a fresh fragrance. It does have that tea vibe in the fragrance. It's, it's a Creed fragrance. It's no other than, if you don't know the name by now, Creed Silver Mountain Water. This one, I, man, this one is great. I know when I'm sick, I wear this too. It's just overall pleasing fragrance. It is fresh. You do get that black currant. You do get that green tea. It's just, it's overall, it's a great fragrance, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. At first, I didn't get the hype when I heard about it. Then I started wearing it. I'm like, man, this this is it. This has got to be a part of my collection. I do have a few Crete's now, so I really can't hate on Crete no more, but I love this one. Uh, longevity, looking at about a good five to six hours, so above average, not too bad. Projection, it pushes for the first two hours on my skin, which is nice. It's great, and I have no complaints with it. People around me like it, so... Creed Silver Mountain Water. Number three fragrance on this one here I like a lot. I've been wearing it a lot now. I haven't done a full review yet. I've done an unboxing. I definitely do a full review coming up soon. This fragrance is my first fragrance from their house. I enjoy it. They have a lot of fragrance from their line. They are very expensive. I got this a little bit discounted on their website. I'll leave a link down below if you want to pick it up. It's from the house of MFK, Mason Francis Kirchhoff. This is no other than a new 2019 release. They come in gold and silver. And this is General Fluidity Silver. This fragrance here, oh my god. It's first off, this bottle presentation is beautiful. And yeah, this one here, oh man, if you like a fresh and clean fragrance, if you like juniper berries in this fragrance, if you like vanilla in this fragrance, if you like musk, if you like coriander, this fragrance is going to be up your out. Now, when you first spray this fragrance, you are going to get reminiscence of a fragrance in the community already that people like, and that is from Creed Green Irish Tweed. But that does settle after a few minutes or so. You will Then you're gonna be open up with a lot of the juniper berries in this fragrance here. You're gonna get the coriander and you are gonna get the musk in this fragrance. Overall, I enjoy this one a lot. It is unisex, so men and females can wear it. My girlfriend wears it, she got compliments wearing this. I want it, I got compliments with it. It's a gorgeous fragrance. The price tag is expensive, looking at $225. 
but they do have it cheaper on their website from France where you can get it for about a buck sixty, buck seventy. But you have to wait a couple of days in the mail. But long story short, I love this one a lot to have in my collection. I feel like this is a fragrance I can see myself wearing on my wedding day or the day I'm gonna propose to my girlfriend. So definitely check out MFK Gentle Fluidity Silver. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, two fragrances left. Thanks for staying tuned to this video. I know it's a long video. So my number two fragrance for summer. This could have been my number one. I feel like the number one is more of a summer, summer fragrance. This is to summer, spring, fall. You can wear this whenever you want. It can be signature worthy if you want to. Um, because the price is kind of like around 68 bucks to 88 bucks. And my number two is nowhere than Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Special edition EDC. This one here, man. This one here. It is a fresh citrus fragrance and it is very salty off of my skin. This is a great for the summertime. Great spring summer fragrance. When you smell this fragrance, you remind yourself of vacation. Summertime. It's going to give a little glowing effect off of you. Like, dang, this smells like summer. He's right. This is a very great fragrance. If you like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue um, itself and you like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, you are going to like this one here. Definitely check this one out. This one here is just, it's overall, it takes those two, which are already amazing fragrances. It has very similar notes to this one. This one here is pretty good. I get pretty good average longevity, and I get a pretty good amount of projection off my skin. I will have a full review coming soon, so I don't want to ruin that. But definitely check out Dolce Gabbana, Light Blue Sun, Poro Midi Tea, Special Edition. This one is great. I enjoyed the bottle presentation. It's really nice. My girlfriend likes it, and I've got comments with this fragrance too at work. But I have a full review coming up soon. I don't want to spoil it. But definitely check out my number two, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. My number one fragrance is no other than a new fragrance, not even on the market yet. You have to pre order it. I got mine in advance. I, you know, did some things. I got it early. And it's no other than the new Creed Aventus Cologne 2019 release. Yes, it's the bottle presentation. Pretty cool cap. Bottom. This fragrance here. This is a summer fragrance. This is what they're supposed to be. I understand what they mean by this fragrance. You can wear it in the spring too. If you want to make a signature scent, you can do that too. Projection, ah, so so. Longevity, ah, so so. I don't want to ruin my full review because it's coming up very soon, ladies and gentlemen. But I had to put it on my summer list because it's going to be my summer beast for the winter. I'm just going to wear it and wear it because I do enjoy this off my skin and it lasts a pretty good amount of time on my skin. So I'm happy with it. The original Creed Ventus did not work on my skin. I tried several batches. I still want to try some more. But long story short, this one works on my skin. I'm happy with it. It's not the best projection, not the best longevity, but it works on my skin, and I'm happy, and I enjoy wearing it so far. The weather's been hot here in New Jersey. So my number one is the new Aventus Cologne.